Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today is October the 11th. It, oops, excuse me. Today is Wednesday and it is currently raining. It is 4 27 p.m. and I am on the way to Village Tavern um, to meet the fam. It's just gonna be three of us today and then um, Bible study at 7 o'clock. So anyways, today of course was my spiritual fasting day. So from 12 to 4, I fast, no food, no water, praying, reading the word, meditating on God's word, talking to him, um, yeah, just all that good type of stuff, listening to gospel music, all stuff just spiritually God related. So yeah, so um, the fast is ended, now it's time to eat because I'm hungry. But um, also, yeah, so I just came, popped up on here really honestly. Well, we are going to, I'm, I am going to take you out of Bible study with me and of course the first one. But I did like, my Vlogtober has been very slow. And I've been recording now, a few days ago, I kind of stopped recording because I realized like most of my days, I'm at the salon like all day. Like one of my Vlogtobers, I was gonna post it yesterday and then I was like, mm, no, this is like a complete video of me just talking and then me at work. Like, I don't think y'all wanna see that. So I just decided to like combine a couple of days all in one video because I am behind in posting, but I have been posting. And as y'all can see, like that whole first week of October, I was recording every day, y'all. And I was dead tired, but that all those days are like, I'm at work. And I'm like, I don't know about it. They, I don't think y'all just wanna like see that or whatever. So I kind of scrapped it. Um, hopefully I can get it up before the weekend is here. I want to get that up. I'm almost done with it. I'm just on like my skating scenes and stuff, just trying to chop that up and then like find the right music to go with it or whatever. Why'd I just say music like that? But trying to find like, y'all know, I be trying to create a little vibe, you know, gotta have everything together. But that's that. And yeah, so my videos are doing pretty well in my opinion. Um, and this week too. traffic ahead due to hazard. You're still on the fastest route. and traffic is pretty bad. So anyways, I'm 16 minutes away, but, um, oh, let me turn my air down because I don't know if y'all picking up the air. But this week, and even this, I want to say it started this weekend, but definitely this week for sure, I've just been having like a attitude of gratitude. You know, I kind of realized like I talk a lot about, you know, of course like you know my numbers and stuff and trying to get back to where I once was but it was like gap yeah. look at the small things don't look at the big picture look at the small things um, as in okay y'all know I mentioned I, it was in my Memphis vlog how like I wanted to get my likes up have my likes to ratio my view like the amount of viewer the, the amount of views in the likes to ratio to be 10 percent and i noticed like my views have been 10 percent since that video like all of my videos since then my views have been 10 my likes have been 10 percent of the views and i'm just so very grateful for that so i thank each and every one of y'all like for liking the video like actually clicking like because you know sometimes we like the video and we watch it and we, we forget to actually like it after we finish watching it so i appreciate y'all and even those of y'all who may even come back to like go and like the videos um so <laughs> let's see how i'm about to squeeze up in this exit okay perfect right here thank you but yeah, so that's that. Um, so yeah, just a lot of, it's been a lot of looking at the small things and even outside of like my YouTube stuff, like just life in general, like looking at the, finding the small things to be thankful for, not always, not looking at like what's not happening right now, but being thankful for those small wins and those small like little changes where I see the growth and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, and like I told y'all, like, uh, so I'm just very thankful and grateful for that and just the mindset that I have. 
and I just thank God like since <laughs> yeah so since like being so since being saved and filled with the Holy Ghost um, baptized in Jesus name um, since like that experience my whole mindset on like a lot of things and even my attitude and stuff has like changed tremendously um, and I've had friends and like family and stuff even tell me that and like like so very thankful for that and it just like God is so real like you know he we his spirit we have his spirit <clears throat> like you know when you have his spirit you get those attributes of God like you know when you're reading the Bible you learn about his attributes and take on those things and even those things that you want to change just praying to God laying it before him and telling him like God like I need this out of me you know I may not know where to start or how but I need your help I need your strength so I just thank God for that and even just being able to cuz being able to look back and just be able to thank him not always just asking God for something like today when I was praying and stuff I was really trying not to focus on asking him for anything but just looking back over my life and all the things he's done for me and just thanking him honestly and truly just thanking him for saving me um thanking him for like car accidents I've been in thanking him for like you know people I've dated in the past and you know how you think you y'all know what I'm saying you thinking that's the one and stuff and God you know what I'm saying so I just thank God for that I thank God for just you know a changed attitude just a whole different it's a flop up in here okay but yeah I just thank God for that the thing had got out earlier messing up you messing up the atmosphere we have up in here going on but um I just thank God for that like you know people say that people can't change but I am a living testimony that people can change if you want to change you can change you just gotta have a mindset to change like the only reason people don't change is because they don't want to change or because they can't see themselves but when you see yourself and you don't like what you see then there's um what's the word i don't know there's a space for you to be able to change and to turn around like create you know when they say like i'm not who i was like the person you knew last year or yesterday that's not me anymore you know so i just thank god for that um yeah so if y'all have like attributes and stuff that you don't like recognize it acknowledge it accept it and say we gonna change and then when you are faced with the test because you will be faced with the test you will be tested on like to see like if you if you've changed or whatever goodness son traffic is super duper bad right now like this is ridiculous I'm on two wait I'm on 459 right now but yeah, so that's that. Well, I guess I'm about to get on the. I'm about to do like these folks then. Cause. Oh, uh, well, maybe I shouldn't. Um, if this car would drive up, then I could. But. Yeah, so that's that. I'm not going to keep on talking, but I just wanted to get on here and just, you know say that I'm grateful let y'all know that I am grateful and then just uh, child I need to focus on this road because that's that but I just wanted to you know publicly say it um yeah so yeah child let me just focus on this road because <laughs> I'm not trying to have no accident and traffic is really really bad and it's raining and y'all know when it rains, people cannot people already cannot drive so when it's raining it, things get worse and my dad always taught me when you're driving you have to drive for yourself and other people as well and I definitely try and do that so with that being said I will see y'all when I get to the restaurant the GPS says that I'm about seven minutes away so we're not too far off um, and I may stop by Trader Joe's afterwards 
to pick up some flowers. I'm kind of feeling like I want some flowers. But anyways, let me focus, child, okay? I will see y'all when I see y'all. You ready? Go ahead. Oh, so much you. Lord, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. Bless you. Remove all impurities as it nourishes our bodies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let me get you. Get me what? Like record you talking about your food. Or that's not aesthetic. 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 How she say it? Wait, please, could you grab a seasoned salad? Right here. Make sure. Yes, thank you. Beautiful. So, I have the fettuccine. I have the fettuccine and it has scallions, scallops in here. I add mushrooms to it. And maybe there's chicken? Or sausage. Oh, that's sausage. So looks like pe bell peppers and tomatoes are in here as well. I haven't had this in a while. It's Cajun too. Okay. But it looks Asian. It's Cajun, but it looks Asian. So add a mushroom. I it's like Chinese takeout. Chop up half of this scallion. We gotta. Oh, shrimp. Is this shrimp? That's a shrimp. Pretty. Be regular. Yeah. That's normal. Definitely need that extra sauce. It's okay. It's alright. Noodles could be more tender. Hey y'all. So, um, hold on. Let me fix y'all a bit. But, okay. So I just got home from work. It is currently like 2:12, and so DJ has some DJ has some mail. So if you are, let me scooch a little bit because I'm like, okay, mm -hmm. okay. So DJ has some mail. He got the mail yesterday, um, last night, and so I haven't opened it or anything yet. But he has his first gifting, um gifting we just gonna say that basically and so yeah so i already know what it is it's some food hold on try this little tripod is not doing what it's supposed to do but yeah so it's some food and we're gonna unbox the food and yeah so if you don't know i'll do like a whole thing a little bit later um about the brand but dj is really i'm gonna say he's bougie when it comes to his food he doesn't just eat any kind of dog food he's very he has an acquired taste he has an expensive bougie taste so he no longer eats he doesn't really care for dry dog food and he doesn't just eat any kind of soft food either so he's a very picky eater so we're gonna see if he likes the food that was sent to him today Okay, so yeah, so this is the um, food that he has. It is BPA free. It's from Werva. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly, but Meals and More 
jam and salmon recipe with chicken breast and salmon and pumpkin soup and it's great for the skin and coat health quino <laughs> i'll be pronouncing it wrong but i hope i said it right that time quino flaxseed and coconut oil um yeah a complete meal or topper yeah so that's that and here it is right here we're just gonna open it i think it's 12 in here so it's 12 in here so this is perfect for him and yeah so this is it right here we're so excited thank you werva for um you know selecting dj to get some meals we appreciate you so so much and hopefully this is the start of you know a good relationship so definitely thumbs up this video y'all um that would be very helpful and yeah because mm. anyway we're gonna go ahead and prepare one of dj's meal so yes so you know for my um pet folks i don't know if y'all have pets or not but also i love the fact that it's in pumpkin soup because it is fall at time so this is just so cute and perfect so i'm excited um for him to try this on today but let's go ahead and because he is hungry he he's he's hungry it's time for him to get groomed too y'all can see his hair is grown out on his face so i, I tried cutting it I tried doing it myself earlier this week, but that was that wasn't the best. I need an extra um I need a guard that is I need a, a better guard or whatever or one that's you know get whatever. Anyway, we're gonna prep this food. Snap. The salmon, all of that. And it don't smell bad either. Looking yummy. Yes, it looks, it look, I ain't no dog, but I would assume to a dog that this looks good. It don't look nasty. You know, it kind of look like soup. With some, all you need is like some tortilla chips or something. Okay, that's a little bit too much. Too far, too far. I know, I know, I know. I'm gonna set the camera on for my little friend. DJ, come eat your food. Go eat. That's right, eat it up, boy. Eat it up. Yes. Let us see you scratching your werva, your werva bandana. Yes. Show the people now. <laughs> you need to go eat that food. <laughs> he is something else. I told you, he is bougie. He is bougie. Here, you need to eat. See, he's so bougie, he only be eating. He be trying to get me to feed him. I'm not gonna feed you the whole time. What you wanna eat off the floor? That's crazy. I told y'all he's bougie. Bougie. Very much so. Spoiled. 
spoiled. At least he likes Werva. At least he's enjoying his meal. Okay, y'all. So, anyways, it's 2.33. And I have a basketball game that to go to later on tonight. It starts at 7. I think it's the Memphis versus the Pelicans. And so, I think doors open at 5.45. I have to... Um, find the outfit, do my face, hair, all that type of stuff. So yeah, I was gonna go try and go to the gym after work, but as y'all can see, I didn't have any time. So that's what I'm about to do now. That's basically what I'm just ending my day with, going to this basketball game. And yeah, so I'll probably, I don't know, I may vlog off my camera or off my phone. But I'll show y'all, like, me getting ready, like, picking out an outfit, all that type of stuff. Okay, y'all, so... Ooh, it's a little bright. <laughs> okay, y'all, so this is my outfit of the night. Okay, y'all, so this is my outfit of the night that I am wearing to the basketball game. I'm sorry y'all didn't get ready with me. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I will be on time. We have time to spare, so that's perfect. But, anyways, this is... The, hold on, can y'all see, okay. This is the fit. Yeah, it's cute. Um, yeah. All right, so I think I'm gonna tuck my hair behind my ear to make it, yeah. And yeah. So here is the outfit of the night. So let's get into the details. So this shirt is from Obey. These jeans are Zara. The shoes are Rick Owens. And then of course my Vivian Westwood necklace. Let's get up close. Okay. So yeah, so ooh, the light changed, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so just some regular like little stud diamond earrings and then the Vivian Westwood necklace. I need to get some more of these. Um, this is like the pendant. And then the shirt is from Obey. And then my jeans are from Zara. And then my sneakers are from Rick Owens. And crazy thing is, y'all, so I've had these sneakers for like I've had these sneakers for about a year now, and this is my first time wearing them. This is the first day out, which is crazy, but fun fact about me, I be wanting shoes so bad. I be wanting shoes so bad, and then when I get them, I don't wear them. Like, that's the crazy thing. I wanted these so bad, talked about them for so long, and I'm just now wearing them. Like, what, girl, what? What are you doing? That's crazy. But yeah, love, okay, love the outfit, really cute and really simple. And then this is the bag that I'm going to pair it with. Now, yeah, so this is the bag that I'm going to wear with it too. And this is just cute and simple and just a little bag. So hopefully I can get it in. I know last year, last year I was able to get it in. I was able to get the bag in last year, this year, but somebody tried to stop me with it. So this year, I think I'm going to tuck it in my pocket because it's like, you know, like one of those foldable cloth purses, basically, or whatever. And I'm going to put it in my pocket, and then I'll put my stuff in there because really all I'm going to have is just my camera, um, probably like some gum and a little comb in my phone, and that's it because I don't want to be carrying a... Oh, heavy purse. I'm going to have to wrap my hair because it's already frizzing in this house. Can y'all see that my hair is like frizzing already? I don't know. But yeah, so my hair is already frizzing. Yeah, so my hair is already frizzing. So I'm going to wrap my hair and wear it wrapped in the car because girl... Yeah, and wrapping my hair kind of like helps my hair like lay down or whatever and help it from the frizz. I may have to wear it wrapped till I get to the thing. We're going to see how close I can park. But, yeah. Cute. The makeup is not. It don't look right on camera right now. But, hopefully it does. So, yeah. So, it looks good. Everything came together. 
Yeah, so I think everything came together really good and cute. And we're about to get ready to go and head out so that I'm not rushing and stuff. Um, and then so traffic and parking and all that so that I'm good with that. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about the outfit in the comment section down below. And let's get ready to go. Okay, y'all, so I've made it. And I just parked at City Walk because the parking is a little bit insane. Um, but luckily I was able to get a spot here. Uh, yeah. So, let's check. I'll wrap my hair. But hair, let me hurry up and get up out of here before it frees up. I really want to wear it down like this, but the front ain't full enough for this yet. But this look way, to me it look better. And then this side, child. But, either way, it's going to do what it needs to do. So, Oh, and then I got the Prada shades on top in case, who knows, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna put shades on, but <laughs> you never know. But just for the look. Okay, I'll see y'all when I get inside. Hopefully, don't, hopefully they don't tell me. I'm hoping that they don't tell me I can't bring my camera and that I can keep my comb. Oh, okay, you don't have the silver uh, thing, so we good, so yeah. When I, when I grew my hair, like in college, mm -hmm. I wanted to do it, but I graduated. I was like, man, let me just start over. It was, it was way too long and, and unmanageable.